Welcome to Walworth, Wisconsin. And Higher Park. Cute little town square. That I featured briefly at the end of my tour around Geneva Lake. I will link that video in the description below if you want to check it out. We have Riviera's Market, Family Dollar, a few smaller stores, and a very cute little, I guess you can say a downtown area. Not quite the square like Woodstock, but cute nonetheless. We have the Johnstown Meat Company over there. Sammy's on the square breakfast, lunch, and dinner. This place looks cute. Definitely should check this out sometime. Definitely got family restaurant vibes for sure. Clothing and accessories. Tiny little post office over there, pretty cute. Yeah, we're taking a little walk in Walworth. I'm starting on a quest to do more random small town blocks. Not too different from what I've done in the past, but might have different vibes, kind of what I'm going for. As Adam the Woo continues to move away from his Americana road trips, visiting all the little towns and dead downtowns across the United States. Supposedly he's going to retire the Daily Woo at the end of 2024 anyway. Move on to bigger projects, whatever that is. I want to sort of fill in issues and start featuring the towns in our area a little more. Instead of just Pacific Parks and Nature Trails, I'll still continue to do that, but I want to sort of really kind of dig into these little towns or a series of little towns just random driving <laughs> you know not a big plan to it hope you guys enjoy it definitely going to be sprinkling this kind of stuff in to future videos and today we're doing Walworth, wisconsin just over the border from illinois just a few minutes away from harvard where I was tonight and there's something that I want to show you that is right up here by the railroad tracks. And also want to do a little retail visit. Another hometown grocery store. A trio of sorts for the area that I've been wanting to cover for a while now. The other two being of course Island Foods and Island Lake, Illinois. And now I guess called Express Market over in Paddock Lake, Wisconsin. But there's also a really cool one here in Walworth. This is the railroad line. The Milwaukee District North Line that ends in Fox Lake. Yep, this is the same train line. Of course, the Milwaukee District North Line does not go to Walworth, Wisconsin, but they have a historic train depot. This is something I discovered very recently, and actually is a YouTube video out. Someone that checked this out. Doesn't appear to be in the greatest shape. Fortunately, I wish it was a little lighter out, but wanted to show you this real quick. I'm sure, at some point in the very distant past, there were passenger lines that ran through here. There's a picnic bench. Unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to see much of the inside. No, 
definitely could use a paint job, but still pretty awesome. I don't even know how often trains run through here still. But you could definitely see that there used to be a platform right here. Lots and lots of storage boxes. It's definitely being used for storage currently, and there's a ton of stuff in here. Don't know who or what is storing things inside here. Hard to see, but there's some filing cabinets in there. But I mean, yeah, this is about as original as you can get. <laughs> no restoration here, which is actually kind of cool. I mean, I do appreciate when they do renovations on these things, but it is kind of see what it would look like probably a hundred years ago. <laughs> and these big old sort of barn doors, I don't know what that's about. And yeah, that's really about it. I just thought it was really cool. Sort of kind of on this property of this factory here. Yeah, this is the kind of random stuff I want to show you more of on this channel. Yeah, I don't know what line would have gone through here. This is not the line that goes up from McHenry to Lake Geneva. It'd be the Chicago Northwestern, Union Pacific. This is a total different thing. This might be the line that heads over to Janesville, possibly. Judging by the shininess of the track, it definitely looks like trains go through here. Yeah, unfortunately it's kind of hard to see in here, but I don't think there's much inside because basically it looks like a storage unit. Very secure as well, obviously. I mean, it's quite possible that the city is using this as a storage unit. I'm sure it's city owned. I don't think it would be a private ownership, but who knows. Yeah, that's definitely locked. Yeah, I can't see much of anything. Some cool beams here. I mean, it's possible this factory is using it for storage, who knows? I really do have to get to this grocery store though before it closes. It does not stay open late. Kind of crazy to think about it. How many of these towns have defunct train stations? McHenry's got turned into a Mexican restaurant. <laughs> Believe it or not, it's been about three weeks since I last vlogged. <laughs> and I really need to get out and do this. We've had horrific, horrific weather. Our beautiful, warm February. Yeah, got counteracted by a really crappy March and into beginning of April. <laughs> but... There's positive signs that warmer and better weather is coming, so hopefully we get back into the vlogging routine. As I always say though, taking a break like this is good if you're catching up on the backlog and I've been doing a lot of editing, so I'm in a much better state with all that now. Well, worth this count, it's definitely one of those towns I would consider. Some Laura Paddock like. It's just really in a good location. I'd probably prefer Paddock Lake, but it's definitely closer to my work. But Walworth is a good location too. Not that far from all the Geneva Lake towns of Montana, Williams Bay, Lake Geneva. Not far from Elvin, Elkhorn. It's a good location, cute little small town, and they do have a very nice grocery store, unlike Genoa City, which also is another town I would like to live in, but they do not have that grocery store.
of this trio of hometown grocery stores, this is definitely the largest and most modern. This grocery store is one that I used to go to with my family when we would stay at the Delvin Lake Resort. We would stop here. It's actually been quite a while since I've been inside, so kind of at the point that I don't remember a ton about how the inside looks. All right, Google Maps is telling me eight years, 2016, since my last visit here. This place has gone by multiple names, including Century Foods and now known as Daniel's Foods. Definitely fairly sure that it was Century Foods the last time I was here. All right, let me grab one of these small carts here. I don't know if this is part of a franchise or what. Maybe we'll get some hints along the way, but let's grab one of these tiny carts. Okay, got a nice little kitchen area here, including a place to sit down and eat some food. Oh, they do have a buffet. Close, they got a hot food bar. You always will get bonus points from me if you have a hot bar. That's cool though. It's a pizza. Yeah, this is definitely more of a Julasco size wise, although I don't think they have a huge like drug department, but Definitely a little bit bigger and more, I guess you could say, modern than the other two. Got a cute little bakery over here. Now if they would pick up this grocery store and move it to Genoa City, I would probably shop there quite often. <laughs> oh cool, they got their own version of popcorn. Hmm. Well, that's neat. Ooh, strawberry orange. <laughs> that sounds actually pretty good. A oh, little Eiffel Tower display. And this bread. St. Pierre bread. Rolls and stuff. Burger bars. I like these cars. Nice and quiet. <laughs> Apparently they have the best meat in town. I don't think you have a lot of places to choose from in Walworth, but... I'm interested to see what this Geneva crew thing is here. Of course, I'm kind of thinking of Geneva Lake and Lake Geneva, but it kind of looks like hunting gear. Cool little cups, though. Got hats and everything. Huh? All right, I actually do have a few things to pick up that my wife sent me. Yeah, okay, there we go. We're back to the essential everyday brand again. An old jewel brand. They're definitely a chain for something. Definitely a really clean store. Bright aisles. Pretty nice. My daughter loves her Cheerios. And they're on sale. Look at this old phone over here. It's <laughs> cool. All right. One thing I want to check is if there's any sales on chips and snacks. Hmm, Doritos. Cool Ranch Doritos. Something like that. Lunch that looks wild, that's on sale. And cheddar, sour, cream, chips from Jay's are also on sale. Okay, now we're kind of in the general merchandise and drug section now. Very similar to Haddock Lake. And they do have self checkout, I think they're all closed though. Well, they do have a little light bulb section. We also have the essential everyday brands. And Sylvania. 
paper towels is also on the list for my wife, and that is also on sale. I do like the sales of this place, guys. Yeah, it's essential every day. It was like something I would have bought in Jewel back in the day. I have one more thing to get for the wife. Super impressive here. So for now, I think I'll just get one of the smaller ones. Purity Farms, that's a familiar brand to me. And my shopping list is done. Let's take a quick walk through the frozen section. Yeah, I would love to have a store like this. <laughs> now, I still keep on getting tell people to check out Angelo's. I have not done it yet, but that vlog will be coming pretty soon. Time to check out and head back in Illinois. Yeah, definitely very good vibes here for sure. They close at 9, I believe, every day. <laughs> so something to keep in mind if you're coming out here. Like the little picture of Geneva Lake over there by the homemade salads. Technically, Walworth is not on Geneva Lake, but eh, fairly close. Yeah, it's just that this place is like well over 40 minutes probably from McHenry. It's about a half hour to Harvard, so. Just not quite as convenient as Genoa City would be, you know. Let's go, I think there's like one checkout left. <laughs> That's it. So that vehicle pulling out now. The white one is on the side of the building and that silver one right in front of us. And this one right here all has Illinois plates. I mean, we are close to the border and Wisconsin doesn't have tax on groceries, I think. So another benefit about shopping up in Wisconsin. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this little random vlog. Got to check out the historic Walworth, Wisconsin train depot. That's definitely not in use except for a storage unit. And Daniel Food. Click the like button if you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you for watching.